Always say your prayers. Why you keep stealing my shit? So we are at Costco and you guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? You think it's cheap being a mukbanger? Think again. Look at this. Okay, here's shrimp, you guys. This bag of shrimp is $37.99. They're huge jumbo shrimp. Delicious. Then we got uh, a bag of scallops there. $33.99. They're huge and delicious. Then, here is a box of lobster tails. $115.99. <coughs> Then here's the king crab. Ready for this? $219.90. So we just got here and I just wanted to show you the seafood, but you guys do the math. This is the end result. We have two baskets and yeah. All this right here. How much was all this, babe? $850. $850. That doesn't even look like a lot, does it? It's bulk. Yeah, that's true. Drink. Look at this, you guys. Here's our receipt, okay? You ready for this? Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> dun dun. Dun 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 dun. <laughs> Bam! So what? <laughs> I need a job. Welcome back everybody to my channel and I bet you're really shocked I'm back. Already another upload. Thank you Father for this food. Bless this food and sanctify it by your word. In Jesus name I pray. Amen. And always say your prayers. And yeah, are you guys excited to see me? Oh my God, I'm hot. I just got done doing this and look at my spoon. <laughs> this is broccoli cheddar cheese soup. Ooh, and a humongo loaded salad right there. And Wingstop Ranch because you guys know there's no butter ranch. So yeah, I'm gonna use this big ass spoon because, you know, it's not gonna make noise. This serving spatula spoon. Oh my God, okay. I told you guys I'm gonna do something from Costco, so here it is. All right, where's my fork? I got a fork for my salad. Look at this salad. Well, let me move this first. Look at this salad, you guys. I mean, come on. It's beautiful. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm so excited. All right, first I'm gonna eat my soup though because well, I'm gonna eat a little bit of it. Um, I was gonna get crackers or bread or something, but nah, I didn't want like more carbs than this. Oh, that is really hot. Okay, so this salad, beautiful. It was $14 from Costco. And then they had this huge tub of broccoli cheddar cheese soup. So I grabbed that too. And of course I came home and doctored, doc, doctored it up <laughs> a little bit myself. Yeah. But um, I put cheddar cheese, I put mozzarella cheese, I put cream cheese, I put sour cream, I put butter, Parmesan cheese. Hot. This is mm. <laughs> This is so good, oh my God. The soup was good. It was good, but 
it was a little bland and it wasn't cheesy enough for me so i just put my little spin on it and you guys saw in the beginning of our little costco haul Mm. Um, I know what this tastes like. This tastes exactly like Jason's Deli broccoli cheddar cheese soup. Mm. Can't even tell you how good that is. Oh, and I put salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. I decided to share that little uh, vlog portion with you guys. Me and my husband went to Costco. I was going to do a lot more of the filming in there, but there was like a million people in there. I was like, what the heck is going on? It was insane. I've never seen it that packed before. Mmm. I love soup. I can eat it every day. Did you guys see how expensive that seafood was? Trust me, I would do seafood every day if I could. I could eat it every day. But that shit is like um, mortgage material. Expensive. Because <clears throat> I know a lot of you guys are like, more seafood, more seafood, or we, we miss your king crab and Alfredo. So I've been seeing a lot of those comments, so I just got, I loaded up at Costco today for you guys. But I just wanted to show you that, yeah, it's absolutely outrageously expensive. So that's why I don't do it a lot. Oh my God. Ooh. Oh God. Um, my husband's like, don't get me in it. I was like, shut up. I'm not getting you in it. <laughs> but yeah, I always have super fun with him when we go to Costco. <laughs> so you know how the people check your receipt, right? When you're walking out the door. It's so annoying. But I guess, you know, they have to. So he was in front of me with his cart and I was behind him. Mm. I can't talk. It's so good. And um, the lady's like, um, can I see your receipt, sir? And so he, you know, he hands it to her and she's like looking at the receipt, looking at the basket. And then and she goes, okay, thank you. And she marks it down and she lets him go. And then she looks at me and she goes, uh, and then she looks back at him and then she goes, are you two together, sir? And he goes, unfortunately. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> she goes, oh, like that. And I said, oh, I said, don't mind him. He, he, he didn't up his dosage today, so he needs to go home and do so. And she goes and she started busting up laughing. She was like an, an older lady. <laughs> I was pushing a cart. With all the seafood in it. Because that's my baby. Seafood's my baby. So I get the cart with the seafood. <laughs> mm. And the lady goes, Well, I, I know who's sleeping on the couch tonight and ain't getting no king, king crab legs or um, lobster tails. <laughs> oh my God. We were just all three busting up laughing. It was pretty funny. My husband does crap like that to me all the time in public. Mm. I could eat this whole... Did you hear my stomach just now? I could just sit here and eat this whole thing. I have crackers and I have, um, you know, those little... Uh, what do you call them? Bagel crisp thingies. But I was like, no, I'm just going to eat the soup. Mm. 
It has big chunks of broccoli in there. Yeah, but we walked in, because my husband, you know, he has PTSD, so he doesn't like going to places where there's a lot of people. And normally Costco's not like that. It was so crazy. And my husband's like, he's trying to rush me. He's like, you gotta hurry up. I'm, I'm getting dizzy in here and I'm, excuse me. Um, he's like, you know, so I didn't get everything that I needed, but I got what I needed for my video. But I gotta go back. Um, but it was like, I, I walked in there and I was like, what the hell is this? Black Friday or some shit. It was so weird. I don't know. We've been going to that same Costco for almost four years now and I've never seen it like that. Mm. Um. <laughs> Shout out to the girl, my bitch. <laughs> In the comments on my last video where she goes, um, are those your Halloween nails? <laughs> Straight up. Yes, they are okay. I told you I've been sick and I haven't done it. Shit. Yeah, and two are broke. And I still didn't get them done today. Um, basically because I'm lazy and I didn't want to. Mm-hmm. That's true. Sometimes I love going to the salon and getting my nails done. I, I love it. I love the pampering. I love the the way you feel when you leave, but other times I just rather lay in bed and eat snacks. Okay. Or lay in bed and get drug. <laughs> Not kidding. <laughs> so yeah, I just haven't had the time. Um, I take that back. I ha I do have the time. I didn't take the time. I chose not to. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't want to do shit. Okay. A couple of you asked in my last video, um, Where's where's that special guest you were talking about? I'm sorry, I haven't got back to anybody's comments or replied to them. Um, I did say it in that video. I said I was supposed to do McDonald's with my granddaughter, and it made me sad that I was doing the McDonald's spread without her. Um, so yeah, she was she was my special guest. Me and her were gonna do that McDonald's video together. So I did tell you guys. I guess y'all just don't pay attention. But yeah, I said it in the video. Okay, let me. Pour some of this and eat this salad. This has, um, oh my God, these cosmic tomatoes. They're amazing. Bacon bits, big. I can't fucking talk. Bacon bits, egg, uh, purple onion. Uh, blue cheese crumble chicken which is the you know what do you call it <laughs> excuse me the um, rotisserie chicken oh yeah we'll start off with that much <laughs> Yeah, I, w I drove all the way to Wingstop just to get this. I did. And it's far from my house. I already told you guys that. Um. Mm-hmm. That soup made me hot. It made me start sweating. Okay. And I have something else to tell you guys. Let me move this over here. Oh God, there we go. Um, you know what's crazy? Where 
Okay. As soon as I made my video, you guys, and remember how I said I wish I had someone to do the one ship challenge with me? Guess what happened? As soon as I stopped the video, oh, you know, all that process, and I uploaded it, um, somebody was watching me and said that they would be glad to do it with me. So they are going to do the one ship challenge with me. And I'm not going to tell you who it is. Mm. I was so excited. I was like screaming. I was like, yes, please, please, please. <sighs> mm. <sighs> so ask and you shall receive. Mm. I asked for someone to do it with me and someone contacted me and said they would. These tomatoes are just. Mm -hmm. oh. It was so cold. <sighs> Look at these tomatoes. They're huge. They look like gumballs they're so sweet too they're like candy they just burst in your mouth it's like butter When I told my husband I was going to do another video, this morning I told him, I said, I'm going to do another video tonight. He starts cracking up laughing and he goes, yeah, okay. He goes, you mean next week around this time? I said, no, I'm really going to do another video tonight. And he goes, oh, I'll believe it when I see it. He didn't believe me. He was absolutely shocked. Yeah. And I was thinking, what should I get at Costco? Like, what sounds good. And because I've been eating um, fast food and stuff a lot lately, I'm like, you know what sounds really good? Soup and salad. And this is too dry. So I'm going to tell you guys about Missy round, what is it, three or four? Um, four, yeah, round four. Okay, this one is not going to be as funny, you guys, because remember how I told you um, she threatened that she wasn't going to let me in? Well, huh. let me just tell you, that bitch didn't forget a thing. No, she didn't. So I was thinking, oh, you know, whatever. She, she's not even gonna remember this tomorrow. Yeah, right. Okay, so it was a Wednesday and I took her to a hair appointment. You guys heard all about that. So this is now Thursday. And um, yeah, she told me as I was leaving on that Wednesday, um, I won't open the door if you come back. I was like, okay. She remembered. 
So I get to my shift and it was seven in the morning. And <clears throat> um, I pull in the driveway. Oh my God. Walk up to the door and the door was completely shut. Um, so I ring the doorbell. I'm like, okay, here we go again. Another miserable day. Mm. I rang the bell once. Wait a couple minutes. Nothing. She'd usually answer the door. Mm on the first or second ring because she always, like she knew who was approaching her house. Oh my God. <laughs> she didn't come. The second ring. That was like a small apple. What the fuck? <laughs> they should call it apple tomatoes. Really good. Fourth ring. On a doorbell, she didn't come. And this was in the dead of summer, you guys. Okay. Um. We had to wear scrubs and tennis shoes with socks. So it was. <laughs> It wasn't weather friendly um, attire to be standing outside for a long time. Because it gets like <clears throat> 110. Sometimes higher here. Oh my gosh, so freaking hot. So then <clears throat> I was probably standing there for about 20 minutes. She would not come to the door. So then I started knocking on it, like pounding on it. And I'm like, is she really, is she really not gonna let me in? Like, come on now. Wingstop Ranch makes all the difference in the world when it comes to a salad. So then 15 minutes goes by and I'm starting to sweat. She wouldn't answer the door. And I'm like looking in the windows because she had window on the side, window on the side, and then her big, huge double front door. Doubles, not double front door, but you know, the, the door and then the screen type thingy. So I go to the left side and I look in the windows and I'm like, oh, hell no. She better be sleeping is all I gotta say. <laughs> I didn't see anything. So I go to the other side and I look in there and I didn't, I didn't see her, I didn't see anything. So I ring the doorbell for a fifth time. And it was 20 minutes now that I was standing out there. Mmm. Now that this is cooled down, it's so good. And big chunks of broccoli. My husband's playing this game, you can probably hear it. So I get in my car. I parked in her driveway. You know how she got pissed because oil stains in her driveway, she didn't want to park in there. I don't remember if I told you guys that already or not. If she went off on me about parking in her driveway because of oil stains. I think I said that already. Well. If I didn't. Yeah, she went off on me one time about that. Park your car down the road. You don't park in my driveway. I don't want oil stains in my driveway. I'm like, Missy, this is a brand new car, literally a brand new car. Like my husband just bought it for me right before I got hired and it was brand new. 
I said, there's not going to be no oil stains. I said, but okay, I'll move it. So I'm, I can't remember if I said that already to you guys, but she did. So my, I parked my car in the driveway because it was so freaking hot. And her house was, you know, way up on a hill. Like even her driveway was way up on a hill. So I had to walk all the way up the hill from what she lived in a cul-de-sac. And there was always, excuse me, there was always cars piled up. So I had to literally park halfway down the road and then walk up her long driveway. I wasn't going to do it. I'm sorry. Too damn hot. So I parked in her driveway. <laughs> so I got, I sit in my car. Um, I'm waiting there. And then I text my boss. So I get in my car and I call my boss. Uh, I text my boss and I said, I am sitting out here. I've been sitting out here for 20 minutes. Um, she won't open the door. I'm sweating my butt off. So I got in my car and I'm sitting in her, in her driveway. So 10 minutes goes by and he goes, um, get out and go ring the doorbell again. Sometimes she does this. Um, she just doesn't want to let anybody in. So she'll ignore you. I was like, but I just did that. She's not opening the door. He's like, okay, just go try it one more time. And then if she doesn't answer the door, you can call me back. I'm like, oh my God. So I get back out there and I go up to the door again. And get back out there, go up to the door, ring it. Now I'm standing there. Not him. We're in again. Still not him. I'm like dripping with sweat at this time. So I go back in my car. And text my boss again she's still not opening the door so he said okay he said go around back to her house go to her back door <laughs> he said her screen door is never locked her back patio screen door so you can go in there go back there and go straight in he's like just make sure you kind of you know you don't startle her or scare her just make make yourself known that you're there if you see her i'm thinking if she's gonna scare me no i'm scared of her like hello she needs to she needs to warn me where she's at. No, you got this wrong, sir. <clears throat> mm. The blue cheese crumbles in here and the bacon bits and <gasps> so good. And the sweet tomatoes in the ranch. I have another one in there too. <laughs> of course I do. I go around back to her house. Hmm. She's laying there on that bench that she always does. You know how I told you. Um, uh, on her back with her knees up and her arms folded and she's laying there and she's sleeping or she's pretending to sleep so I, I walk up to the back screen porch and I said I knocked on it you know tapped on it she wouldn't even budge or look or nothing so I knocked on it a little harder I know she heard me 
Um, so finally she like, she opened her eyes and she goes, she turned her head and she looked at me and she goes, what are you doing here? I told you I'm not going to let you in and I'm not letting you in. And she turned her head like facing the other way. And <laughs> my boss told me that she, he, he goes, if she doesn't let you in her back screen or if it's locked for some reason, because normally it's not locked, but if it is locked, um, you, there's a little hole in the screen that you can put your finger through and slide the lock and then you can just open the screen. And I told him, I'm like, I don't feel comfortable with that. That's like breaking and entering. That's, I don't know how I feel about that. But he's like, oh no, all the caregivers do it when they won't let her in. I'm like, oh, so this is like a, a normal thing for her? He said, yeah, she does this a lot. So I said, Missy, I said, you have to let me in. Um, I have to clock in and tell, you know, my company that I'm here. Otherwise, everybody's going to worry. And they're, um, they want to know if you're okay as well. And she wouldn't look at me. And she goes, I and then she goes, I told you I wasn't going to let you in. I don't know why you're here. So then I was like, oh my God, I'm not going to sit here and argue with her. I'm dripping with sweat. I'm not in a good mood. So I slept. <laughs> I put my finger through the screen and I slid the lock. Oh, excuse me, I'm eating so fast. And that lock was so loud. It was, it was like a, the biggest clink. I was like, oh my God. But thank God she didn't look. And I was like, okay, cool. <gasps> so I, I, you know, I think she fell, either she fell back asleep or she knew what I was doing, but she was just ignoring me. Then I walk in and um, she won't look at me or nothing. So then I go in the house and I clock in. Then I put my bag down, my purse down, same routine, and I go back out there. I had a choice to sit at the island, because you know you guys, I do that sometimes. When she's being a real bee, I'll just sit at the island and read my magazine. But then I'm like... Then I was like, no, I'm gonna go see um, if she's gonna be ugly to me or not. It feels so good. Mmm. I go out there, I sit down. I have my phone, not a magazine. <laughs> About an hour. I think she really did fall asleep because she didn't budge. A whole hour goes by and I'm just on my phone, you know, briefly looking up at her. <clears throat> then she, finally she, she gets up and she sits up and her glasses are on the little table like um, right in front of her. So she sits up and her eyes are closed the whole, the whole time. She was, you know, and then she's going like this with her hair, you know. She's fixing it. Her eyes are still closed and she's still like fluffing it and like doing this. And she goes, hmm. and she's stretching her neck and she still wouldn't open her eyes or look at me. And then, you know, she's still messing with her hair. And then she opens her eyes to look down to find her glasses and she sees them, picks them up and she's cleaning her glasses with her shirt. And then I said, did you have a good nap, Missy? And she goes, oh, oh. And she like drops her glasses in her lap and she caught them with her legs. And she she's like putting her glasses on because you know, I told you she shakes and she's like this, putting her glasses on. And she goes, 
you nearly scared me to death. And I was like, I didn't know what to think or say because I'm, I'm, I'm like, she heard me come in. She heard me talk to her. Um, <laughs> come on now. She was a drama queen, the biggest drama queen. Oh my God. So I said, I apologize. I said, I thought you heard me come in. I was talking to you. And she just gave me the most evil look. And so she stands up and then she goes, I told you I didn't want you here. And I said, well, unfortunately, I don't have a choice and neither do you. I have to be here. And so she just goes in the house. Oh my God. I can't stop eating that. Then she go, I can see her silhouette and she goes to the back bedroom. And then I get up cause it, it was hot out there. Not as hot as, you know, cause she had the ceiling fan and she had a little um, window unit. So it wasn't that hot, but it was still hot. So I went inside cause she went inside. And I don't see her. So I sit in her, um, like dining area i've never sat there before and i never like you know i just walked past it i've never actually sat in there so i sat in there and i'm like huh i'm gonna sit on this couch i'm gonna see what she says to me she's gonna go off about like oh that couch is special get off of it with your evil powers or something so i <laughs> sometimes i was getting testy with her because she you know she's so ugly so i sat on the couch and i'm like i can't wait till she sees me i can't wait to see what she's gonna say Get your fat ass off my couch, bitch. I don't know. Who knows? I didn't know what to expect. So I'm like sitting there on the couch and I'm like chuckling to myself because I know she's going to go off on me. Like, I don't, I don't know what she's going to say, but I had a feeling. So she comes walking in and she's standing there and she's looking at me and she crosses her arms and she's just looking at me. And I'm looking at her and I give her a half smile like that. And she's still glaring at me. It wasn't a mad dog, but it was just a glare. So I said, Missy, I said, I, um, this is a really beautiful dining room. I really like it. It's really bright and there's a lot of windows and she's still staring at me. Like I didn't even say anything. And she starts walking towards me and it was the scariest thing because she was looking right at me. And then I was like, just kind of smiling at her. And I said, do you ever sit in here? Like, I was like getting chills up now my back. Like, oh my God, oh my God, she's going to come. She's going to, she's going to, she's going to hit me. She's going to attack me because she wasn't talking, but she was walking towards me. And then I was like, oh my God. Then the next thing she goes like the, with the most serious face and she's walking towards me like robotic. She didn't say anything. And then she like bends down and slaps her knees in like kind of a bent down, you know, position. And she goes, hi, kitty, 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 kitty. Hi, kitty, kitty. When she did that, I jumped. I was like, oh God. And I went like this because she was looking past my shoulder at this time. And there was like, 1400 cats in her backyard right behind me and they were all like just sliding up and down the glass window i was like jesus oh my god and then she walked right past me and she's she sit gets on her couch in the neat position you know and bends over her couch on her knees and she's tapping the glass and talking to the kittens and there was kittens and cats and, and just a bunch of stray cats and she's like I guess, hi kitty, 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 kitty. Are you hungry, kitty, 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 kitty? Every time she would tap the window when she would say that. And, oh my God. And then um, I'm, I scoot over cause she like was right next to me. I scoot over and I turn to look at her just to watch her cause she was like, just tripped me out blowing my mind 
I'm getting so full already. What's wrong with me? And um, then I said, oh, wow. I said, um, that's a lot of cats. And I knew this was a stupid question, but I didn't know what to say. <laughs> like, it just came out. It was so dumb. But I was like, are they all your cats? I'm like, are they all yours? And she turns and looks at me and she goes, do you think I own about 20 cats? No, they're not mine. They're strays and I feed them. No wonder there was about a million of them because she was feeding them. So yeah, cats do that. You feed them, they're always going to come back. <laughs> and then I stood up. And I'm looking over the couch outside because I was just mesmerized by how many cats there were. I'm a cat woman. I love cats, but oh my God. Then I look around and I see like 30 or 40 pounds of cat food like bag after bag after bag after bag after bag of them dry food and I was like oh my god she literally is feeding the whole freaking neighborhood of cats she is <clears throat> and then so yeah she was feeding all these cats and I said um I said yeah you <laughs> I remember you telling me about your cat and you know how your cat passed so um, well now you have several other cats to keep you company and she just she didn't look at me she just kept looking straight and kept tapping the window talking kitty kitty and then she goes mm-hmm that's kind of just what she did to me when I said that And then she turns and looks at me. Really, really sweet voice. And she goes, Would you please, would you mind going and feeding the cats for me, please? <sighs> Poor cats. Some had mange, some had eye infections. <clears throat> Uh, some kept itch itching and itching, itching. You know they had fleas or ticks or something. And a couple of them would back their ass up against the uh, her glass window and spray. Like the the male cats would spray her window. And she's like, kitty, 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 kitty. They would be spraying her and she'd just be talking to them still. I was like, oh my God, what am I watching? Oh God. And I didn't want to go near those fucking cats like are you kidding me uh-uh so i said sure and then oh my god there was probably she was right probably about 15 20 of them i exaggerated a little bit about how much i first said there was <laughs> so i said um where are their bowls and how would you like me to feed them because i was coming up with a plan in my head like how to get around it how to say i did but really don't <laughs> kind of thing i wasn't getting on their fucking cats Mm -mm. I wasn't getting near them. I wasn't going to touch them. Poor things were... Probably had diseases and stuff. It was just awful. So... She goes, the bowls are over there. And um, you just give one scoop in each bowl. And there was four bowls. I said, okay. And I just go put it outside. And she goes, mm-hmm. And then she, it was like, and then she goes back to the glass window. It was like the freaking, uh, what was it, Finding Nemo? When the <laughs> little girl in the dentist's office is like, fishy, fishy, fishy. <laughs> That's how she was. She's like, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, God, she did it over and over and over. She went, shut up. And so I got the, I put the scoops in the bowls and I carried Two bowls in one hand, two bowls in this hand, one on top of each other. 
and I open, push the door open with my foot because it wasn't shut all the way. And I'm like, okay, I am going to slowly walk up to them. And if they're not afraid of me, then I'm putting these bowls down right here and I'm, I'm getting back in that house. But if they are afraid of me and they scatter off, then I'll put them where she wants me to put them. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Just start burping like that when I get really full. I haven't really had an appetite. You guys know I can eat. It's because I've been, you know, sick. But it'll come back, trust me. <laughs> um, so as I was walking up to them, they all they all turned and looked at me. And like four or five of them hissed at me like demons, like demons. And then they just took off running. They just scattered. And I was like, thank God. So I put, I heard and I put the bowls down. And as I was turning around to go back in the house, um, I hear this really faint meow, like that. Like, uh. mm. I turn around, there's a baby kitten. Brand new baby kitten. Not brand, brand new, but like really new. Um, I was like, oh my God. It was like that big, so cute. My heart melted and that little meow, oh my God. It was two seconds. I was gonna do it, I was gonna pick it up. I was two seconds for picking it up. I couldn't resist a kitten. I can't. <clears throat> so as I was going over there to pick it, I was like, oh, and I went over there to pick it up. It didn't look like the other cats did. You know what I mean? Like sick or mange or anything like that. So as I was going to pick this kitten up, I'm bending down and then I hear the biggest hiss, like awful hiss. And I turn and look up. I guess that, that was the mama or the daddy. I'm figuring the mama. I was like, oh shit, bye. <laughs> so I turn around and I like walk fast and this cat started chasing me. And so I flung open her screen door and I shut it and I turn around and she's standing right there and she goes, why are you running? I said, that cat was chasing me. And she goes, probably because you scared it. I said, that cat scared me. I was trying to... You know, whatever. I fed your cats, okay? I fed them. I walked past her and I said, I have to go to the bathroom. I was so frustrated. <laughs> oh my God. I wasn't going to explain to her. I'm like, forget it. So she sits back out on the bench and I go in the bathroom. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I go back out and then I said Missy it's lunchtime I said what would you like me to get you or fix you <laughs> fourth day working with this woman she goes um <clears throat> actually I do want you to get me something I said, really? She goes, yeah. She goes, I want a cheeseburger with um, just the patty and mayonnaise. I don't want cheese. I just want the patty and mayonnaise from McDonald's. One cheeseburger. I was like, wow. Is she really like going to not eat her, eat her little sandwich and cookie combo? Like, what the heck? I'm... I said, okay, absolutely. I said, I would love to get that for you. She was like, I remember. One patty, no cheese and mayonnaise. I said, do you want fries with that or a drink? She goes, nope. 
Just that, just what I said. And she goes, go get my wallet and my purse. The cheeseburgers at McDonald's are probably like not even a dollar. Like, or maybe a dollar, whatever. So I said, no, I'm, no, I got it. I'll pay for it. Don't you worry about it. I'm gonna get the hell out of here and I'm gonna act like I got lost on the way to McDonald's <laughs> just to get a breather. And so I said, okay, yes, I, I'll absolutely get that for you. And I will be right back and you know, uh, I won't be long. So I get my purse and I'm like, thank you, Jesus, I get a break. And I was like, oh, this is awesome. She wants me to go get her something. So I go to McDonald's and I get her little cheeseburger special ordered. And I go back to the house. Front door's locked. Ring the doorbell, ring the doorbell, no answer. I'm like, oh God. Walk around to the back of the house. Um, she wasn't there. And guess what? The screen door was locked. And that hole was patched up where you where I put my finger through to slide it open. She had tape all on it. Duct tape. I said, did this, did this bitch just really send me for a fucking fake phantom cheeseburger just to lock me out? <laughs> I was like... Uh, I started laughing because, you know, that's what I do. I just laugh to myself a lot. <laughs> I'm like, because I'm thinking this in my head and I'm like, she sure in the fuck did. She has no, absolute no, um, what do you call it? Intention on eating this cheeseburger. She just sent me on a fake errand. Where the hair that please let us come from? <laughs> Oh my God. So I was like, that's it. That's it. Stay up there. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Nope. I was not gonna let her do that to me. Mm-mm. And she was nowhere to be seen. So. I said, okay. All right, two can play at this game. <laughs> this is like, this is like a Lifetime movie kind of thing it really is even when I told my family this and I told my bosses um like nobody could believe it like they were just it's so crazy so I put the cheeseburger uh bag down on the ground next to me and I put um uh oh yeah I put the cheeseburger bag down next to me and there was like this uh, stick, like this little stick. I have my purse on my shoulder. I was gonna get a pin out of my purse, but then I saw that stick and I'm like, okay. Oh God, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm so full, it's so freaking delicious. So I pick up the, the twig, if you wanna call it. It reminded me a lot of her twig. And I shoved that twig through that duct tape. Sure in hell did. And I stabbed that bitch. And it popped right open. Like tape just fell off. And I was like, hmm. Stuck my little finger in there. Opened it. Grabbed her damn cheeseburger. And I marched my ass in that house. And I'm like looking for her. You know, pissed. And then I don't see her. So I'm figuring, oh, she's in her, her bedroom. So I walk back there to her bedroom. Oh my God. With her cheeseburger bag and there she is laying on her bed. And I open the door because you know how she always loved it cracked. So I 
pushed it open and she's laying there on her back like she always does with her knees up and her arms crossed and um i said miss c here's your cheeseburger with no cheese and just mayonnaise and a patty and she jumps again like every time i talk to her she's just so over dramatic like <gasps> like i can't even whisper and she would do that she would just be so over the top and it would make me laugh every time but you know this at this point i was mad so i didn't laugh but i was just like here's your cheeseburger and she goes how did you get in here and you scared me to death again and i said oh i got in through the the back because you didn't open the front and she goes it was locked and i said um no it wasn't it wasn't and um she goes oh well it wasn't locked but it was taped up and i said yes it was and she goes well you push you uh Put your finger through the tape and open the door. I said, yes, I did because you sent me to go get you lunch and I'm standing out there and I'm, it's hot and you know, weren't answering the door. So she gets up off, off her bed and she comes walking towards me and she walks right past me. I'm holding out her bag to her. Like, here's your cheeseburger. She just walks right past me. I'm like, oh my God. Mm-mm. We walk into the kitchen. <laughs> oh my God, this hour, uh, see, I don't know what's wrong with me. I, this video is an hour long, so I'm gonna speed it up. But I went to the kitchen and I put her cheeseburger bag down on her island. And she goes, she walks around the island cause I'm on this side and she walks around and so she's standing in front and I'm standing behind where the chairs are. And I said, there's your, um, here's your, your cheeseburger. And she goes, thank you. And she grabs a bag, like, like really, you know, so kind and sweet and just, and I was like, oh God, she's going she's gonna to flip out. This is what she does. She does this before she flips out. So she grabs the bag and then like, I was like, oh, thank God she's going to eat and just leave me alone. She goes like this, and then she goes like this, and she drops it right into the trash. Her trash can was right there. And I'm looking at her, and then she goes, did you really think I was gonna eat McDonald's? And I said, did you, you just threw that in the trash? And she goes, yeah, I don't eat McDonald's every day like you do. That's why you're so chubby. She always said it to me. And then I, just, I was just like, <laughs> okay. Uh, I said, okay, um, Missy, well, um, you sent me out just to get rid of me and I buy your food, which, you know, wasn't even buying her food. It was a dang dollar, but, and I bring it to you and you just throw it in the, tr in the trash and then you call me a name and make fun of me. And um, she goes, she's just looking at me. So then I go and fill in the logbook. I said, okay, I'm just gonna go fill in my logbook and you know, you can make your own lunch. <laughs> so she starts making her lunch and you know, I was furious and so she threw that away. Like, go feed your damn cats with that shit. Don't throw in the trash. The fuck? <laughs> uh, so I fill out the logbook and I'm just like, I oh my God, get me out of here. Then, she eats her lunch and she goes out and she, you know, she's eating her lunch very slowly. And then I go to the island and I'm filling out my logbook and, you know, about my day and everything. About her. <clears throat> so basically the rest of the day, I stayed in the house at the island reading my magazines and, um, looking at my phone and she you know of course she did her laps around the pool after she ate then she brings in her dishes after she took a little snooze 
this was her routine. And then she came in and she started washing her dishes and it was like almost time for my shift to be over. I think I had like 40 minutes left. And I was like, oh my God, these 40 minutes are killing me right now. And she's washing her dishes and um, she like dries off her, her plate and she puts it up and she looks at me and she goes, she looks at me and then she looks at the clock and then she looks at me and she goes, you have 40 minutes left, but that's too long. You can leave now. I said, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> I stood up and I said, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and I said, okay, bye. And I grabbed my purse and my bag. And she goes, don't call me Jesus. That's blasphemy. And I'm like thinking in my head, <laughs> oh my God. I'm just like, oh my God. I didn't even log out on the phone. I did not. I was like, that was enough for me. She told me to get out again. So I went straight to my car and um, I got in my car and I called my boss and I said she kicked me out again and she wouldn't let me log out and you know she was very hateful and ugly to me again and I was telling him about what happened and um, he's like oh my god you know I'm so sorry that was I would apologize but mm -hmm. mm. Of course, every time I went to the door, she followed right behind me because she had to lock it. She wanted to make sure my ass was locked out. So then, as I was walking out, you know, of course, I did my famous line. Okay, bye. I love you. But under my breath, I was like, <laughs> no, I don't because you're evil. <laughs> but I still said it every day. Every day I said it. And then she just shut the door. So then I <laughs> went and called my boss. And I just drove home and I was like, oh, thank God. I said, I hope she kicks me out every day early. That'd be fine with me. So what am I doing? I'm so full. See you guys, if there's food in front of my face, I'm going to still continue to eat it. But yeah, that was the fourth day with her. Oh my God. <sighs> Wait till you hear about the family photos in the next, next uh, video. Not next video, but next time I tell another story of her about the family photos. Oh my God. Anyways, um, I hope you guys are excited that I'm doing another upload and um, I'm excited because I don't hardly ever do this. And I know you guys enjoy these story times of Missy and I enjoy telling them because, you know, <laughs> even when I'm telling it, I make myself laugh because it is pretty funny, but back then it was not funny. Okay. I love you guys so much. I love you all. And even though I don't respond to um, all the comments, I read every single comment. Trust me, I do. Um, and I try to get to at least heart or, or, you know, talk to you guys, but sometimes I can't, sometimes I just can't do it all. But I do read each and every, every comment. I just want to let you guys know that. This was fabulous and delicious. Look at this. Some people are grossed out and weird. Like, hey, I'm not putting that. You can't eat that for leftovers. That's gross. It already has dressing on it. I don't give a crap. I think it's delicious. The lid's still on the kitchen on my counter. I'll put the lid on this, put it in the fridge, and I'm going to eat this tomorrow. Mm -hmm. My children wouldn't touch it because it's soggy. <laughs> Ew, that's soggy now. No, I love it like that. I don't care. And this too. So this will be my lunch tomorrow. And I doubt you want to see a video of me eating this. Like, hello. Again? No. So I won't be doing a video tomorrow. But I'm thinking about going live soon because I haven't done a live in a long time. Yeah. Okay. I have to go cut this video like so much out because it's an hour and eight minutes as of right now. Okay, I love you all. Stay safe. Bless wherever you're at in the world. Get yourself some delicious soup and salad and stay warm and have a amazing Thanksgiving, you guys, even though it's not Thanksgiving almost. And I'm looking forward to my challenges coming up. I'm so excited. Oh my God. Okay, I love you guys. Bye.